Yeah. Welcome to Bar Fest. Grab a drink. Young penguin on a date. Sit your asses down and fucking listen. We out here with the B A R F E S T F E S T. The best ass rappers for energetic shit back teens, but I only go hard when I'm high A S F F S F F F. Broken hearted, felt so lost as we parted. Felt like there's no hope, but it's people like us who be heroes. <clears throat> Gotta freshen up. Not you. You. Yeah, let's see. I gotta take this piece of gum. Wait, what? Well, fuck you too, gum. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video. And I am back, y'all. I'm fucking back. Can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit? I'm back. I'm fucking back. I saw this card trick on Derek's channel. Card trick say, hashtag Barney the Dinosaur motherfucker. I figured, you know, I could make my own version of it. I'm back, y'all. I'm back, y'all. I gotta start making, making these videos more steady. But, um... I'm gonna call this trick two jokers. And if y'all watched Card Trick's 8 video, which there will be a link down below, he doesn't know where the name of this trick came from. If he knew, he would say it. So he made his own version called like the fucking infinite sand dick or something like that. But um, I'm calling it two jokers and y'all know what to do. Yeah, I, I don't have to fucking say it. I don't have to say if, if you should like, if you should comment, if you should subscribe. You should already be doing all that shit. We should already be doing all that shit. Anyways. Let's get into the performance and then the tutorial afterwards. Bonjour. Welcome to the performance. My name is Cardmaster X and you better be afraid because I'm about to fool you. Those kids better be afraid outside too because I'm about to knock them shits out for being so loud during my video. We're going to just use this keeper deck to uh, do a little bit of a trick here. Now, in case y'all didn't know by the uh, name of the trick... I have the two jokers here, in case you didn't know. Now these two jokers in one minute are going to help me find your card. Now you're going to be asking me how, how are they going to find my card if I haven't chosen a card yet? We're going to go ahead and we're just going to go through the deck here. And I want you to just go ahead and choose any random card that you want. Let's say you choose this card. Here we can go ahead and take it out. It actually happens to be the Queen of Hearts. Now the Queen of Hearts is a good card to choose. But just for right now, we're going to go ahead and, and make her get lost. The two jokers are actually going to find your card. Just like this. One, two, three. They found it. Quickest trick ever. One, two, three. There's actually a card in between these two jokers. In between these two jokers. In between these two jokers. And that card just happens to be the king of spades. Your chosen card. Wait. Wait, that, that, that card's not yours? You're sure that this card's not yours? Because I, I honestly thought that uh, it was yours, but I, I guess I guess I was wrong. I guess I was totally wrong. Um, but let's see if, they, if these kings found your card. Um, the Seven of Hearts. No, really, really, you got, we're gonna play this game? Okay, <clears throat> just like that, barely touched the deck, and I bet you the Seven found it. Okay, one, two three just like that bro just like that it found your card bro and that card just happens to be the jack of clubs wait the, the you're telling me the jack of clubs is not your card really okay let's try this one more time just a little tap because the jack is sensitive and just like that 
the Jack Sandwich, all the decks, all the cards, all the dicks, decks, cards, whatever you want to call it. They're all trapped between the two black jokers. So your card has to be in here somewhere, right? Your card has to be in between here somewhere. But uh, what if I told you that my piece of gum is going stale? So uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at where your card might be. Where your card might be. I don't know where your card might have might have been, but uh, uh, definitely can't be in the back of my gum box. And uh, we can actually go ahead and take this bitch out of the of the gum box and show you that it's a true card. It's actually a real true card that was uh, she was trying to freshen up. You know, that's just how that shit works. Welcome to my clusterfuck. Also known as the tutorial. Kids are still playing outside. Kids will do what kids will do. You're gonna need all this stuff for the trick. I'm gonna need the deck, this, all, all these cards here that are in this pile. And if you wanna do it my way, you're gonna need a, a, a pack of gum. You can do it any way you want. Again, I'm just the messenger of card tricks. But uh, welcome, you see what I did there? I said welcome as I, it makes me better. You better fucking subscribe. We're on the road to better than Derek. That's that's my new road, better than Derek. <sighs> anyway, so here's how the setup works. Of course, this setup is hella complicated because Derek doesn't like to choose tricks that are easy. He likes to choose tricks that are complicated and then it inspires me to make a trick my own way. In his trick, he had four pairs and my trick does five. His were obviously different than mine. What you're going to do is you're going to put a king, a jack, seven face down. Then you're going to do king face down, oh, king face up, then seven face down, and then you'll have a jack left. This jack goes face up on the bottom of the deck, just like this. So you have this jack, then you have all the cards, and then this setup, you're going to close it up, you're going to flip it over, and you're going to put it on top of the deck. So this is what the deck looks like after the setup. It's going to be the king, jack, face up seven, king, face up seven, and then jack at the bottom. So that's how you want it set up. And then here's my way of doing the trick. You're going to have the two queen of hearts. On the back of one of the queen of hearts, I colored in a little corner with pencil. I don't know if y'all can see it. But this corner is darker than the than the rest of the corners. And that was purposely to mark the card. Now, from a distance, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can definitely see it doing the trick. The one that has the marking on it, you're gonna put it in the middle of the deck any way you want. Okay, just make sure that that corner is on the left side when you're fanning the cards. And then again, you're going to follow where that goes when you put it into the card box. Th this is kind of hard to explain, but when you're fanning through the cards, you want that dark side to be visible when you're fanning the cards. So that's the way you're gonna put it in the deck. Since this way is the way I want it. And then you're gonna take that and you're gonna put this in the box the same way you had it faced, just so you can take it out and start. These two jokers go face down and this queen, for my version, goes into the back of my gum case. You're going to lift up the cards after you take them out of the box. And as you're reaching for these with both hands, you're going to do the, you're going to peel the card and you're going to get a pinky break underneath the top card. Then you're going to grab so you can hide the pinky break. You're going to flip over and you're going to grab all the cards at the break. Now you're going to use your thumb that is holding the deck and you're going to peel off the top joker and you're going to take this joker that's actually holding a double for your king, and you're going to put that underneath just like this, and there, now you have a normal sandwich with one card in between. So you wanna hold it, I guess this is sort of like a, I don't know, a grip of some kind. Don't know the name of it, but um, it's helpful to know that you're gonna have your middle finger and your thumb on the top and bottom, and your index finger is gonna be wide open. This is the best way to hold it, because I feel like it closes it up a lot. Give them a little bit of a bend as you're dropping them. Not too much. Don't do what I'm doing. Don't do this shit. Because then they're going to think the card is twerking 
and uh, you don't want you don't want them to think that because twerking is so 2016 so you're just gonna do it once as you're dropping them and see it keeps them closed now you're going to explain to them that the jokers in a minute are going to help us find your chosen card but you haven't chosen a card yet so when you pick up the deck what you're going to do is you're going to block push just a couple doesn't have to be a whole lot you just want to hide these face up sevens you're going to block push for all the potato heads and you're going to i would say peel off a couple at a time and just break them until you find the uh the shaded area and you're going to be like you're going to choose a card let's say you choose this card and this is a shaded card so you're going to know it as a magician you're going to force this card onto them you're going to spin it out and you're going to flip it face up so that they can see it swing cut then after i swing cut i turn my hands around and i grab the queen with these two fingers the two greatest fingers of all time you're going to pick up the card and you're going to hold a pinky break underneath that card remember the pinky break originally you remember the pinky break yeah you're going to hold a pinky break underneath that, that that chosen card once you have the pinky break you're going to square the cards on top do not lift your thumb up yet all you're going to do is transfer that pinky break to a thumb break just like this and then you're going to double undercut. If you guys don't know the double undercut, you shouldn't be watching my channel. And then, boom, the card is actually forced to the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this is the cleanest way to do it. Derek is, is, is too complicated with his shit. Let me show you that again for the potato heads, obviously. So you're gonna swing cut the cards. You're gonna twist your hand and grab them with the bird, just like this. And you're gonna hold a pinky break underneath that card then you're gonna take this and square it up transfer to a thumb break as you're squaring it up and then you're gonna do a double undercut just kind of mention that the cards are getting mixed up again if you don't know a double undercut you're a potato head so now the cards on bottom so once the card is forced to the bottom of the deck you're going to get a pinky break if I can you're gonna get a pinky break right above that bottom card which is their chosen card and you're going to move the deck down slightly and then move it back up that cops the chosen card into your left hand halfway down from the rest of the deck so as you're setting this down you're going to bring your hand down this way and you're just going to drop the card on the floor but if you're in a public situation and you're in a chair like this and you can hide it drop it no one's going to hear that shit now all of your attention has to go to the joker I like to bring my hand back up and mention that the jokers are now going to choose your card and it's going to happen in the blink of an eye. I pick up the cards in the same way I did earlier with my middle finger and my thumb. Consistency is key. You're going to place them on top of the deck and then you're going to square them up like he did. But I think the square up is a cool way to be like a slight little move. So, so I like to say watch. They're going to find your card in three, two, one. You square up the jokers and say boom, just like that. Square up the cards and they found your card already. Don't believe me? Watch this. Pick up the whole deck. Joker. Out jog. Joker. And then bring this forward and bring your hand down a little bit. Just kind of relax. I don't know why he put it in front like this. This is too much. Just relax your hand. As you're relaxing, glance down and you're going to block push four cards and get a pinky break. Now, this is my way of doing it. Like, Derek has his own way of doing it. Again, he's complicated. So after you show them that one card is sandwiched in between, you're gonna relax your hand. And this is what I'm doing. I'm block pushing over the top four cards, just like this, and I'm getting a pinky break underneath them. It's, in my opinion, it's not that hard. And you, you can even do it like this. No one's gonna see if you flash a little bit because the cards are facing this way. You see what I'm saying? So the cards are gonna be facing this way. As you're relaxing, you're gonna, you're gonna block push those four cards and then you're gonna bring it back up and just be like watch these jokers have found it so you're going to square the jokers up with that pinky break you're still holding it you're gonna square the jokers up and keep this card out jogged now you're going to flip over all of the cards that you have pinky broken and you're gonna flip them all over to reveal the king of clubs and you're gonna say this is your card king of clubs they're gonna be like um no, you fucking idiot. This is not my card. You're fucking dumb. I don't even know why you're doing magic tricks because you're so fucking retarded. That's what they're going to say to you. And you're going to be like, oh, damn. This is, this is, 
this sucks. This absolutely sucks that I didn't find you a card. Keep it consistent. You're going to place the king on top. You're going to do the same thing. One, two, three. Barely touch the deck. And your king has found you a card. One. You're going to peel off. Out jog again. Two, three. Same motion as you did last time. And you're going to relax. Again. But this time, instead of block pushing four cards, you're going to block push only two. So as you're relaxing, you're going to block push two and get a pinky break underneath the top two cards. Then you're going to show... The kings found your card. You're going to square it up again. Same motion. Keeping that card out jogged. You're going to flip over all the cards at the break. Revealing the seven of diamonds. Now you're going to be confident again. Peel out the seven. Say boom. I found your card once more. Seven of diamonds. They're going to be like. No dude. Why are you a fucking idiot? Stop doing magic tricks if you can't find my fucking card. That, that, it's just as simple as that. That's what they're going to tell you. And you just got to take that hate like a maniac. And what you're going to do, same exact consistency. You're going to place the seven on and be like, okay, third time's the charm. You're going to place the cards down. And you're going to act like you're squaring it up. Now, I, I think this adds a little bit of comedy because the cards already look pretty squared up. But you're going to do it again. Boom. Barely touch the cards. The seven found your chosen card again. So you're going to peel off. Same way you did before, seven. Out jogged card, seven. Now this time, you don't have to block push any cards because all the cards are face down now. So you're just gonna relax, same way. Say, hey, seven's found your card. And this time, you're gonna square it up and you're gonna flip them over, but you don't have any cards to lift up at the break. So you're just gonna do all this with just these three cards. You're gonna flip them over, revealing the jack of clubs. You're gonna spin the jack of clubs out and say, Finally, I found your card. And then they're going to shake their head. And they're going to be like, please, dear God, let this idiot stop showing me fucking magic tricks because he doesn't know how to find my fucking card. And after they're done playing, you're going to place the jack on top, again with consistency, place the card down, and you're going to say one more time, please, I'm begging you, give me one more shot. This is my only lifeline in this fucking world is playing cards. And all I need to do is find your fucking card, please. 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 And then they're going to be like, oh, stop being so submissive. God, find one more time. And I'm going to be like, okay, watch. Jo Jack is going to find your card. Boom. Just like that. Did you see it happen? Did you see it happen? Did you see it happen? And they're going to be like, why'd you say that three times? And I'll be like, I, I have no fucking idea. After that, you're going to lift up the cards and you're going to spread the cards out in a ribbon spread, just like this, revealing the jack at the end and the jack at the top. And you're going to say, boom, your card is in the middle of the two jacks. Booyah. Who's the idiot now, bitch? And they're going to be like, um, still you, because all the cards are between. So obviously my card's there somewhere. <laughs> Touche. Your card is here somewhere. And then you're going to reveal... That right behind your gum is their chosen card. And then you can take this out. And just to prove to them that it is part of this deck, take it out. And I would say, here, go ahead. Inspect it. It's a real card. Nothing too special. You can even flick. You know, it's like it's like giving the queen a spank. Oh, yeah, you like that, bitch? You like that? You like that? And, and then they're going to be either turned on or just fooled. Y'all better have fucking enjoyed, because if you didn't, then what is the point of me doing a fucking magic trick if you didn't enjoy? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, right there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and keep mastering life, stupid pricks.